Hello and welcome to my easy to understand guide to Stuart Hall's reception theory, not to be confused with Stuart Hall's representation theory, which is different and for which there is a different video on this YouTube channel. So Stuart Hall's reception theory is quite simple. He basically believes that media products are encoded with ideas by the producers that make them. So when you produce a product, for example, if you make a film, the producers put in certain ideas into that film. They want a particular message to come across and they do that by um, creating particular stories, particular characters, and they hope that the audience uh, understand that message. They hope the audience can decode that message um, and take away what is intended by the producers. So that is what we call the preferred reading. Preferred reading means that the particular messages have been received by the audience, accepted by them, and that the audience totally gets what the producer wanted them to understand. So for example, if an audience um, at the time of, in the 1950s, were looking at the Tide advert, the preferred reading that the producer intended was that as a woman, you should want to keep your family's clothes nice and clean and that you should absolutely buy Tide because it is the best product out there. However, audiences are all different. We're not all the same people. We're not all going to respond in the same way. So Stuart Hall's reception theory has two other types of responses that audiences might take instead of that preferred reading. He thinks that some audiences are going to take the oppositional reading. Oppositional readings are uh, where they interpret that media product and they absolutely do not take on board the messages that the producers wanted them to take on board. So people may have seen the Tide advert in the 1950s or they may be viewing it from a more modern time period and their reaction may be of horror. They may think, wow, that's really sexist. Women aren't the only ones that do the laundry um, and they may be quite offended or they may think that Tide absolutely is not the best product on the market. Um, and they don't take on board any of those preferred messages that the producer intended them to have. The third reading is a negotiated reading, which is kind of between the middle of the preferred reading and the oppositional reading. So the negotiated reading in the middle is where an audience member understands the messages. We kind of get what the producer intended and we accept some of those messages, but we reject other parts of it. So an audience member might see the Tide advert and they might say, well, I, I understand the messages and Tide probably is a really good product, but actually um, I don't really want to buy a product that's just aimed at women. And you may take that negotiated reading where you're accepting part of the message and rejecting part of the message. The reasons why people might take the preferred, the negotiated or the oppositional reading vary completely. It could be that you are taking different readings because you're different genders or different ages or you're coming from different historical time periods. It might be that you're taking different readings because you were brought up in different areas of the country or different backgrounds, different ethnicities, different sexualities. There's a whole load of reasons why people might not all read a product in the same way. So when you're looking at the products in front of you, whether it's a set text or an unseen one, you have to think, what was the preferred reading that the producers wanted the audience to take? What is the likelihood that the audiences are actually taking that preferred reading? And why might an audience reject that reading? Are there any reasons in particular why audiences may have felt an oppositional reaction to that particular text?